what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're gonna be talking about jeepers creepers reborn jeepers creepers 4 here and to start off with as you see in the thumbnail yes the vfx supervisor who worked on jeepers creepers 3 jason raymond he is going to be back in that chair or in charge of that i guess as it pertains to jeepers creepers reborn this was something I discovered across a Facebook post that he put out saying that he is currently working on Jeepers Creepers Reborn as the VFX supervisor. And he did also go on and say that it is still due out this year. Now, what's interesting about that is how no one's sharing a release date. I would I would imagine that there's already been a release date that has been set in stone as far as like screen what screen media wants to do. But we are just not being told what that specific date is because that's going to be told when the official press release for Jeepers Creepers Reborn comes out whenever that comes out the next official one because there hasn't been one since February um but going off of that should we expect special effects that resemble what we got in Jeepers Creepers 3 I'll just be honest and say that yes we should and I'm not saying that the effects couldn't have improved from from what they offered in Jeepers Creepers 3 but this person did the same thing with Jeepers Creepers 3 now of course, I've checked to see if they're working with different people, also to see if there's any other similar names working in that department. There's definitely a lot of different names. Uh, Misty Taylor, who I know edited Jeepers Creepers 3, who edited a lot of sci-fi original films. She is not editing this movie, thankfully. And, you know, Jason Raymond, and as far as like this visual effects department, he was the only familiar name that I saw that worked on Jeepers Creepers 3. So there's a lot of good chances that we have not necessarily good chances but there is hope that we won't have effects that are so halfly put together like the stuff in jeepers creepers street it just looks unfinished it looks like it looks cartoonish it looks like you it just makes you want to laugh at how bad it is especially the one the one shot where the creeper gets that uh gets that bar through his head in his own truck because he's too he's positioned as an idiot in that scene honestly and he, they, they're using sound bites of him screaming from the ending of the first film oh my gosh just i i don't even want to think about the movie <laughs> but going back to something else we need to talk about we need to talk about imran adams imran adams who we know we all believe will be starring in the film as chase the boyfriend of lane who will be betrayed by sydney craven they will be traveling to the Whorehound, Whorehound Festival out in Louisiana, and there they are, of course, going to be tormented by the Creeper. We're assuming Lane gets abducted, Chase will go after her, runs into Peter Brooks' character, who we know is named Stu. There's some other characters involved with it that I've talked about in my other videos. But it looks like Imran Adams is indeed going to be playing Chase. Just This is just more evidence that should have us even more convinced that he's playing Chase. Not only just the image, of course, that we have seen of him in the car with Sydney, Sydney Craven's character. But now I did stumble across courtesy of that post that the VFX supervisor posted. Someone commented saying that one of their talent members or one of their uh, clients was starring in the film as a lead. So then I went and did some digging on this person who runs this talent agency, L Leonie Kibbe. Uh, talent agent for TTA. Uh, she's just a talent agent. I'll just say that. And she's representing Imran Adams. So I found a post where she talked about Imran Adams and she says she's so proud of him. Um, and he's going to be starring in a in a feature film later. Or she's he's just going to be starring in a feature film that's coming up soon. So going off of that post and the stuff that we've seen about that, she said the news would be coming soon. He's been cast as a lead in a new movie. News is coming soon. We haven't gotten anything about him actually being the lead at all, but we've seen things and we've seen all the things that point to him being in Jeepers Creepers Reborn. So it's safe to safe to assume that she's talking about Jeepers Creepers Reborn. He could be starring in something else that, she, that she's referring to, but it, come on now. I, I'm pretty sure there, she's talking about the role that has to do with Chase. If she's talking about something else, then so be it. But this just this just is just more proof in my opinion that he's starring in jeepers creepers reborn as the character of chase even if he's not starring as chase we know he's going to be in the movie because i've again showed you guys the picture of him on set <laughs> we see him on set with peter brook during the scene there's also other images of him on set Drace dressed very much like a horror nerd i'll just say which is the description of chase 
he's the one that's obsessed with the horror hound festival and he drags his girlfriend to the to the festival and she ends up getting taken by the creeper so Imran Adams just more proof that he'll be playing the character of Chase honestly I'm really concerned with the special effects I am when I tell you I'm concerned with it I mean that wholeheartedly uh I never really actually sat down to think about how bad the special effects could be in this movie but given that I haven't seen any of the special effects from the other people that are working on the project that are now working with the guy who's returning from Jupiter Creepers 3. I'll just have to see how this all plays out because what actually could have been the issue is how rushed everything was with Jupiter Creepers 3. A lot of people feel there's a lot of sabotage going on behind the scenes and they wanted the movie to fail and that this was purposely made bad just so that they could do something real quick with Victor and that the whole time they were already working out a way for him to get the rights over to them and they were trying to just give Victor his final bow out to the franchise so he can get out of here they can pay him out and they can start doing what they want to with his IP so we'll see what he can bring to the table in terms of visual effects this time around supervising these other people and what they are going to dish out but you know I just wouldn't expect visually to have a spectacle on your hands not to say that the stuff in the second film was that good but you know the stuff in the second film practical effects bro practical effects you 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 have to appreciate practical effects when you see what you get in Jeepers Creepers 3 the the departing of visual effects in Jeepers Creepers 3 is very evident it's very much so a negative departure it it's nothing that resembles a good use of cgi at all whatsoever everything looks cartoony it looks half-assed it does not look impressive at all it looks very it, it throws you out of what you're looking at in the rest of the scene when those i'll just say mario kart like bombs drop out of the creepers truck it's not it's not fitting with everything else in the scene at that time because of how it looks and how it's put together it's horrible cgi the green screen use was horrible there's just so many things that i'm i'm fearful for when it pertains to this movie because i know they had a lot of green screen that they're gonna be working with but let me know what you guys think about this information down in the comment section below what are your thoughts what do you expect will happen with the visual effects if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications that never miss video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me see any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video and go ahead and click that recommended video to look at that spoiler free review for candy man when you see it up here later tomorrow if you watch this video tomorrow